Okay, here's just a really quick way you can show a set of deviations from some nominal points to some measured points. So in this example, we have a set of nominal points and a set of measured points. And um, we just want to know what the deviation is between each one of those. So it may be a particular tool that you um, want to know certain features on the tool aligned to their nominal um, features. Um, but as long as you have points at those locations, it's really easy to set up and show the deviations. So as we start off here in this file, this is um, one of the help files that we have built into SA. It's under best fit points to points. And so if I open that up again, there we are. I'm just going to change my background here to white to make it a little bit easier to see. And I'm going to zoom in. So we're not actually aligned to these points yet, but we can still sh set up the, uh, the callouts to show the deviations between the groups. So I'm going to use um, our reporting tab here in the toolkit, which is on the right-hand side. And just click on the reporting tab there. And the first thing we'll do is add a new callout view. And we'll call this one um, deviations nominal to measure. So now that we've got a callout view, uh, that callout view is tied. It takes a sort of a snapshot of this view here, and it's going to show up each time we use that callout view. And then the callouts that we'll want to add is just a group comparison callout. And that makes it really simple to select the beginning group. We'll go from our measured to our nominals. And then you can select um, how, what, what information you want to arrange the callouts. So I'll just right click on the callout view and go to auto arrange callouts and go to arrange radially, maybe remove the overlap and just hit OK there. I can drag these to however I want them. But you can see that our, our deviations are pretty large right now because we haven't aligned these parts. Uh, so if I wanted to um, just show you that the callouts are dynamically updated, then I could just go to uh, locate this instrument, do a best fit. Here's our nominals, here's our measured. And in this particular example, uh, we have one point that kind of comes in as a bad fit just to show how to set up a best fit transformation. So I'm going to uncheck that and hit apply transformation. And then you see that our instruments aligned here and our callouts automatically updated to show those deviations. Um, so going from um, where they were before, um, to here shows you that um, we've got a, a dynamic uh, call out here. So you can see this is that one that was bad that I didn't use in my best fit transformation. So then if you don't want to um, see those callouts anymore, you can just hide them. Um, if you want to show them, you can just double click on them to show them. And then you can actually just report out that call out view uh, exactly as it's shown there. You can create a PDF from that if you go to uh, Generate Quick Report. Create a PDF. And there you go.